Welcome back to Squawk Box. Sotheby's launching a new auction series where mansions are sold like art. Robert Frank is here to explain. I don't understand. What do you mean? Well, Andrew, luxury real estate sales were down 45 percent in the most recent quarter. Buyers and sellers simply staying on the sidelines until they see rates and prices stabilize. So more sellers are turning to auctions. Sotheby's auctioning off eight luxury properties in just one hour on Thursday night for a total of $38 million. Sotheby's bought concierge auctions two years ago. Now they aim to sell properties just like Picasso's. Concierge sales were up 15 percent last year to $526 million. There are buyers who are interested in purchasing and they don't have a lot of real estate to look at right now. So an auction can create that momentum around all of those buyers and bring them all into one place at one time and allow them to compete to own the property that they wish. All but one of these properties were sold with no reserve, which means it's a final sale to the highest bidder. Bids came from 14 countries. This mansion on Paradise Island in the Bahamas sold for $15.7 million dollars. The buyer bid online against 15 other bidders. The other hot property of the night was this ski and golf chalet in Park City, Utah. It sold for $5.5 million with 12 bidders. Luxury homes in Malibu, St. Kitts and Nevis, and Spain were also sold. And, Andrew, there are no contingencies, which means if you win the bid, you own it. And this came last Thursday amidst all this banking crisis, so really strong bidding. OK, so I got you, I got two things. First of all, I think I've actually seen I don't know if you can ski past that place in Park City. I think I have. But my separate question for you actually is more important. So these folks are effectively bidding on these properties without ever visiting them once. Is that that's what's going on? Well, for instance, in the Bahamas property, that buyer bid online, but he had seen it before it came to auction. So a lot of these bidders, at least the ones who won, had visited the property when it was listed prior to coming to auction and just needed to get a good price and figure out where right. the bottom was. But, uh, but unlike going to a Sotheby's, looking at the art briefly even, and then, you know, everybody raises their hand, you would actually, not, instead of walking around the room looking at the art, you'd actually have to fly around the country, if not the world, to look at the properties before you showed up. Yeah, if you're bidding on more than one. Now, typically, these are people with each property. They've been looking at it. They live in that area or they've had an interest in buying in that area. They've seen it. They've been stalking that property for a long time. The seller was unrealistic in price. And finally, the seller just said, look, we got to figure out what this property is really worth. So let's just get it done. And so these are these are people that have typically lived or been looking at these properties and just finally see them come up for sale.